Monday is 10 years since that devastating tsunami affected not just this country, but several others in the region. On Upsouth today, we pay tribute to that monumental loss, not just across India, but across South and Southeast Asia. A decade after that devastating tsunami struck, exactly on the 26th of December 2004, we bring you a special report live from Kadalore, where my colleague Srisha Reddy now joins us with those who lived through that tsunami. They recount that horror and how they're now trying to rebuild their lives and how their lives have changed forever. What's the situation 10, year, 10 years down the line? As tragedy struck on... Thousands of people lost their loved ones forever. Ten years after this incident, headlines today travel to Ground Zero. We travel to Kadalore, we travel to Nagapatnam to find out how those who survived the tsunami, and especially those little children who lost their parents, how they've managed to rebuild their lives once again. Ask Nandini if she remembers her mother, and there's a blank look on her face. She was five years old when the tsunami struck. Her father died even before she was born. And the Nigel was a Yabagar Nari and Gamma Padamago Yedim Yabagale. As Nali and the Nigel was a Maracamudia or Izuar Nalu, young Amma Padamago, Nanu Nenichi Nenichi Bapman, young Amma Padamoga Nenichi Bakamola, and the Allegal Udia Satamu and the Jaya Priya and her four sisters were sent to an orphanage in Kadalore after their mother died in the tsunami. Their father remarried, abandoning his daughters. Jaya Priya and her younger sister are the only ones left at the orphanage. The Tamil Nadu government gave people who lost their children an opportunity to become parents again. 38-year-old Kumari from a village in Kadalore lost her two kids. Thanks to the recanalization process, she gave birth to two children who are now six and eight years old. Psychologists say the orphan children are suffering from insecurity post their tragic loss. Mindset is insecurity among the children, definitely. Because they can't think on their own. So, uh, big question mark. Where to go, how to live. So they want to ha have some safety, which they believe that can be got from their father. Before the tsunami struck on the morning after Christmas in 2004, families here lived along the Tamil Nadu coast. A few hours of fury later, thousands of men and women died. Only little orphans were left. They have spent the last 10 years without knowing the warmth of parental love, mother's care and father's indulgence. With camera person Daniel Srisharetti, in Karlo for headlines today. And the seafaring community in and around Kadalore. How have their lives changed? Srisa Reddy now joins me from, from Ground Zero. Srisa, the fishermen community, people who had links with the sea for generations, how has life changed for them? Well, Gaurav, uh, the life has changed drastically because uh, in the last 10 years, there have been series of incidents that these fishermen have seen as the sea is concerned and the ocean current has changed. Uh, you know, there are different kind of, uh, you know, high pressure and low pressure and these fishermen, they, they can't even predict that when, when it will rain, when the sea will be fine to go uh, to fish because they, of course, live in a sense of fear, uh, you know, as far as uh, the sea is concerned. And most of the fishermen uh, continue to fish, but uh, a few of them after this, uh, uh, you know, tragic incident, they 
they quit their jobs uh, you know the fishing jobs and they went for uh, uh, you know uh, jobs like con contract business or to to help people in other business they even left the villages i have a fisherman with me who uh, says that you know his generation will be the last generation to go to fish because he does not want his uh, child to venture into the sea to go and fish because he does not want to see what he has witnessed sir in the tsunami abdinam bodu ungalku enna nyabagathukku varudhu enna vishayam vandu neenga unga community kadasiya pannu nanikireenga பண்ணலாம் சுனாமி சுனாமி அப்புறம் எங்களால் களத்தொழில் பண்ண முடியாதுங்க இந்த களத்தொழில் எங்களால் முடிஞ்சிடணும் எங்கள் வர சந்ததிகளை வந்து இந்த தொழிலுக்கு போக கூடாது ஏன்னா அவ்வளோ பயமாக இருக்குது களத்தொழில் பண்ணுறதுக்கு பசங்களை படிக்கிறதுல தான் நாங்கள் ரொம்ப முயற்சி பண்ணி நாங்கள் பண்ணுறோம் இதெல்லாம் so he is saying that you know he wants his children to uh, learn and study and that is the one reason that he is venturing into the sea of course there is of course a sense of fear though and they saw the sea as a monster with blood on its hands on the 26th of december 2004 the same day 10 years ago sir ungalku tsunami abindra bodu and or bayam inu irukkeengala and taakkum tsunami oda taakkum tsunami vandadukapra naanga vandu anga toil pandradhukku or achama da irukku aaramba kaalathula vandha dhairyama toil pannom tsunami vandadukapra engalukku adu romba paadhippu adhigama irukku அதனால் வந்து இப்போ ஏற்கனவே நாங்கள் சுனாமி முன்ன தொழில் பண்ணது வேறு இப்போ தொழில் பண்ணுறது வேறு ஃபஸ்ட்லாம் வந்து ஒரு மூணு மாதம் எங்களுக்கு ரெகுலராக சீசன் உண்டு ஆனால் இப்போ வந்து அந்த மூணு மாதத்தில் எப்போ காற்று ரஃப் ஆகுது கடல் ரொம்ப கொந்தளிப்பாகுது எங்களுக்கே தெரிய மாதிரி சீசனே தோட்டில் மாறி போச்சு ஆனால் சேஞ்ச் போஸ் சுனாமி இஸ் வாட் இஸ் சேங் பிகாஸ் ஹி டசன்ட் அண்ட் கம்யூனிட்டி வென் தி வில் பி ராஃப் பிகாஸ் தே சோ கிராஃபிக் இன்சிடென்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த டே ஆஃப் சுனாமி ஸ்ராக் பிகாஸ் இன் கடல் சிக்ஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் செவன்டி ஒன் பீப்பிள் லாஸ் தேர் லைஃப் அண்ட் இன் நாகப்பட்டினம் த நெய்பரிங் டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் அட்லீஸ்ட் சிக்ஸ் தௌசண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபைவ் பீப்பிள் லாஸ் தேர் லைஃப் அண்ட் க்ளோஸ் டு எயிட் தௌசண்ட் பீப்பிள் லாஸ் தேர் லைஃப் இன் தமிழ்நாடு சார் நீங்க சுனாமி அன்னைக்கு பாத்திருப்பீங்க என்ன மாதிரி விஷயம் அந்த மாதிரி கொடு கடல் கொந்தளிப்பை எப்பயாவது பாத்திருக்கீங்களா லைஃப்ல எதுவும் பார்த்தது இல்ல ஏனா அந்த நாள் என்னால மறக்கவே முடியாது என்னோட பாட்டியும் அத்தியும் டெத்தான நாள் எங்க பாட்டி என்னோட ஓன் பாட்டியும் அத்தியும் வந்து சுனாமில பாதிப்படி இறந்துட்டாங்க செய்யுங்க பலவேற காடு இப்போ அந்த சம்பவம் வந்து இனிமேல் யாருக்குமே இந்த தமிழ்நாட்டில் எப்பவுமே இன்னும் வரக்கூடாதுன்னு சொல்லிட்டு தினந்தோறும் நான் கடவுள் வந்து பிரார்த்தனை பண்ணேன் இட்ஸ் வெரி இமோஷனல் மூமெண்ட் ஃபார் ஹிம் பிகாஸ் ஹி லாஸ்ட் இஸ் கிராண்ட் மதர் ஆன் திஸ் சுனாமி டே பிகாஸ் ஷி ஷி காட் ஸ்டாக் இன் த வாட்டர் அண்ட் ஷி லாஸ்ட் ஹர் லைஃப் அண்ட் அண்ட் ஹி ஸ்டில் ஹோப்ஸ் தட் திஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் இன்சிடென்ட் டசன் ரிப்பீட் இன் ஃபியூச்சர் டு தே ஹேப் இன் யூ நோ அலாம் தட் ரேஸ் ஃபார் ஆல் தீஸ் ஃபிஷர்மேன் கம்யூனிட்டிஸ் ஒன்ஸ் த டைட் ரைசஸ் அண்ட் ஃபிஷர்மேன் தே டோன்ட் லிவ் இன் த கோஸ்டல் ஏரியாஸ் fearing some sort of a uh, you know high high pressure on the sea and there are series of of course incidents uh, that fishermen have been trying to uh, keep a look at uh, and keep a watch at because uh, it has left series of uh, uh, destructions uh, in kadalur and in uh, nagapatnam kanyakumari okay. chennai and the neighboring districts gaurav stay with me sri sa i also want to bring in j radha krishnan those who reported on that tsunami they know this name it rings a bell he was the collector of nagapatnam when tsunami struck one of the worst affected districts in tamil nadu at that point of time so welcome on headlines today it's been a decade since that tsunami lashed tamil nadu your determination the effort you put in that's been recalled even now when you look back what are lessons learned and have they been implemented See, first of all, I should be very thankful for the people and especially the government for having given me that opportunity to serve there. See, what I personally feel is that, you know, see, that tsunami made us realize that this, for which these are certain aspects that were not expected at the time. It was stealthy, cautious and sudden and people were not aware. So, that was one lesson that we have to be prepared for all kinds of hazards which can turn into a disaster in one area. People have to be prepared and also governments and non-governmental agencies. After that there were several protocols that were put in place there were drills that were put in place did that happen just for a couple of years 10 years down the line if we were to talk about the people should there be a warning will they immediately leave has the mindset changed see fr frankly you know for the scale of disasters uh, 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 for uh, any balanced person who has been seeing that you know considering the loss of lives livelihood and also shelter the resilience of the people and the support of government and non governmental organization together is something which uh, uh, has generally drawn an appreciation but in such large scale tragedies always there will be something which you uh, feel that you know uh, this could be additionally done that feeling uh, is uh, but natural but by and large you know international agencies have come and appreciated the way 
disaster risk reduction features were built in and communities were involved in uh, rebuilding their habitats. These are something which I can generally look back upon in a very positive manner. Then the importance given to alternative livelihood. You know, that dependence solely on fishing and agriculture was changed and people started looking at self-help groups and the alternative livelihood. These are also certain very important pointers. Stay with me for a moment, sir. If we were to recall the 2004 tsunami, 8,000 people were killed in Tamil Nadu. With that, many said hope died. Now, people who lived along the coastline, they were reeling under shock. A little known doll, Tsunamikas, they gave hope. How? How did a little doll called Tsunamika give them hope to survive, to rebuild their lives? This is a story of hope of inspiration and comes from Puducherry. These little dolls are called Tsunamikas. No, it doesn't bring back the memories of the devastating tragedy, but it heals them. Tsunamikas have touched millions of hearts in about 80 countries. After the devastating tsunami 10 years ago, Prajapati and her team decided to teach those affected the craft of making dolls to overcome the trauma. In 2004, when tsunami uh, happened in the coastal part of Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry, I began to work with six villages, with 600 ladies, and we were making dolls. The idea of making this doll was to bring out the trauma, what they had, and restore their faith in life once again. The idea behind Tsunamika dolls was to create awareness about the plight of the victims and provide livelihood to women affected by the disaster. The women are paid 1000 rupees per month for making these dolls. Nanga tsunami vanda peragu dhaan pengal vandu vela yerpadan undu yerpadichi adhukku peragu nanga vandu engaloda thevigalukku nangale senji indha tsunami ka senji kuzhandigal piece katradhukku ellathukku useful la irukudhu matra niruvanangala vandu andha time vandu mattum dhaan udavi pannanga ana indha tsunami ka vandu engalukku 10 varshathukku varaikum udavi indha aravil endu udavi pannanga engalukku these dolls can't be purchased they can only be gifted people who get it are those who need hope. People who receive these dolls make donations to the project which is self-sustained. Masketeer Tsunamika who is going to lead or tell us a hope for our coastal part of India and that's a beautiful uh, future I am looking at it. In the last 10 years over 60 lakh Tsunamika dolls have been gifted around the world. Tsunamika now stands for coastal protection and a symbol of hope for those who have suffered the wrath of nature. The Trisha Reddy in Tamil Nadu, Bureau Report, headlines today. Tsunamika, a doll that gives hope. And let me once again get back to Mr. Radha Krishnan, who was then the district collector of Nagapatnam, now is in the health department of the government. Mr. Radha Krishnan, how has the state changed when it comes to being prepared for yet another disaster? God forbid, should there be a disaster, is the state better prepared, the people and the establishment? See, uh, generally uh, from the health department which now I had, I can very well see that, you know, Nagapatnam earlier the hospital was uh, very badly affected. Today it is built on a stilt with disaster risk reduction features. Then early warning systems are uh, generally people are fully aware of how to respond to disasters. So to that extent, you know, subsequent even uh, April uh, 11, 2011 when there was a uh, tsunami sort of uh, alert sounded, the response has been fairly systematic. Then during Cyclone Thane, by and large uh, the response has been uh, fairly good and uh, the state and also the people have contributed towards preparedness much better and uh, I'm sure the state is definitely uh, so much more better to face such disasters. Mr. Radhakrishnan for the moment many thanks for joining me. History comes alive as political parties fight it out 
over anniversaries. And the latest is the Congress party in Karnataka. The chief minister there is saying he will announce a date to celebrate the birth anniversary of Tipu Sultan. The Congress argues Tipu Sultan has been neglected. The BJP has a counter. They say Tipu Sultan was a barbarian. Tipu Nubagge, the judicial mind in the world, the matter of the ಸತ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ <laughs> especially the people of kur and from those places who are victims of uh, tipu sultan's uh, barbaric administration they know the other side of tipu's face definitely by observing tipu's birthday as a government's birthday this government is continuing its habit of catering to the vote bank uh, they are resorting to vote bank politics. Big sister is watching. Let's now take you to Cyberabad, the IT hub in Hyderabad. 60 teams of decoy police personnel are moving around the city scouting for eve teasers and molesters and stalkers. There are also spy cameras that ensure the evidence is recorded. So eve teasers and molesters beware. She is on the road. An initiative of the Cyberabad police in the IT area of Hyderabad, 60 she teams are now spread all over their jurisdiction looking out for cases of eve teasing, stalking or harassment. Each spy camera armed team consists of six constables and a sub-inspector. Wherever they uh, have, uh, uh, they have observed such offence where a person is, uh, you know, harassing a lady in public or trying to make cat calls or uh, pass lewd comments this act will be videographed by using a spy camera by the team and then uh, subsequently by taking uh, the victim into confidence they will be taking the offender into custody we observed this case of a man making lewd gestures to a lady without realizing that she was a member of the she team in mufti <laughs> The Cyberabad police has identified 200 spots in the city that see maximum cases of eve teasing. The teams also travel in public transport, spreading the message of personal safety, asking women to dial 100 in distress. Hamare sab se bole to morning college girls rehte na ji, 9 o'clock se 10 o'clock tak. और बाद में ऑफिस बोले तो 11 तक मैक्सिमम और इवनिंग तक की 5 ओक्लॉक से 7 ओक्लॉक जब मैं थोड़ा बसे शरश रहते हैं और ऑफिस जाने वाले आने वाले तब रहते हैं ना वो टाइम में कुछ प्रॉब्लम होने का चांसेस है इसलिए हम वो टाइम में ज़्यादा फोकस कर रहे हैं Learning from the experiences of rapes in Delhi, the she teams will also counsel the offenders, especially minors, to ensure that they do not become repeat offenders. With Ratnika Sharma in Hyderabad Bureau Report, Headlines Today.